Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today's video is for the Never Enough Ammo $300 Zombie Gun Challenge. The firearm I picked up just today had to be this. The Savage Model 64F. It's a semi-automatic 22. And I'm going to show you how I turn this from just a little plinker into a zombie killer. Welcome to Pew Pew Park. Okay guys, here is my completed rifle. I will go ahead and go into detail on everything. First off, I'm just going to show you the sling I made using neon green and black paracord. That's um, This is what's called the King Cobra Knot. I did a base cobra weave using the neon green and then did another one over that. So I, because I know people would complain if I didn't have a, you know, the neon green and black zombie motif going on. So I did that with the sling. That yeah, was a pain in the ass. I would not suggest doing that. As you can see, I got a real, uh, I was able to find a, a little reflex sight. Uh, it's just a cheap little Fiat but. Uh, lots of people have issues removing magazines from this. So I went ahead and got a an aftermarket mag release that's extended. This, a lot easier to remove it. Along with that, the original bolt here has been replaced with an extended one. The original one stopped maybe half an inch, quarter inch past the stock. This one gives you a lot more purchase. So that's why I did that. I got one of those 30 caliber ammo holders that go on the butt of a rifle. And just every other one, I remove the stitching, and it works perfectly for holding 22 magazines. I have room for five here, plus the one in the the gun itself, so that's 60 rounds. Of course, I got my little zombie outbreak response team sticker, so people know I'm after zombies. For a weapon-mounted light, I went with something I use for my EDC, which is just an O-light. But as you can see, it can be pretty good. And what zombie hunting gun? Is complete without a bayonet. This is a, a pocket knife I've had for who knows how long. The way I mounted it is when needed. It opens up. You know, do what you gotta do. And it closes back up when you're done. No need to worry. And I know what some people are thinking. Why 22? Well, what are zombies? But rotten, rotten corpses brought back to life. All the flesh and tendons and all that. The muscle decomposing. 22 will go right through. And of course, I figure being rotten corpses, they're not getting their calcium. So I'm sure their bones are starting to get a little on the brittle side. The 22 should have no problem clearing them skulls. Being that it's 22, it's small, light, and cheap, relatively speaking. So you can carry plenty of ammo strictly for hunting zombies. Of course, you'd want a, a sidearm of some sort for the human element, for grief, griefers and raiders and whatnot. But that is another contest in another video. This is strictly a zombie hunting gun. Okay, let's talk about costs. Rifle was $139.98. The 3 8 dovetail to Picatinny was $981. The optic was $35.99. The temperature resistant fabric tape I got was $5.98. The bayonet was free as I've had it for 10 years or so. The weapon mount light being my EDC was free. The extended mag release was $29.99. The extended bolt was $26.99. Um, a little cheaper on the, the actual website, but they were out of stock, so I did end up using eBay, but I'm sure with the free shipping I got, it kind of came out in the wash. The little uh, stock uh, ammo sleeve I used to hold magazines was 809. The swivel sling set, which I only used the actual swivels, was 793, and the neon green paracord was 825. I already had the black 550 paracord in my survival emergency supplies so I will end up having to replace that but that was free because I already had it uh, that brings a total for my build to two hundred seventy three dollars and one cents of course sales tax transfer fees and all that 
is not included. So this is just strictly for the uh, materials I used for this build. Anyway, I had a fun time doing this. Uh, I want to thank you, uh, Never Enough Ammo, for doing this little challenge contest. Um, it was actually really fun. Uh, it was a little tricky finding the rifle. I bought, uh, I tried to purchase it locally, and it didn't turn out well. Uh, they ended up calling back the next day, saying all the all their avenues to pick one up were sold out. So, uh, but I did end up finding one. Had a blast building it. And I can't wait to see everyone else's videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.